So what is prostitution? Prostitution, the practice of engaging in sexual activity, in general with someone who is not a spouse or a friend, in exchange for immediate payment in money or other valuables. Prostitutes may be female or male or transgender. Historically, most prostitutes have been women and most clients men. Next is Certain elements must be present in order to classify an offense as prostitution. Number one is exchanging money or goods in exchange for sex. Second is arranging to pay money for sexual services. Third is transporting either the prostitute or the person who hired the prostitute. Fourth, owning a room or business with the purpose of arranging prostitution services. Next is prostitution, the world's oldest profession. You have probably heard prostitution referred to as the, the world's oldest profession. And in some ways, the idea makes sense. There are references to prostitutes in virtually every culture or society with any type of of recorded history. As soon as civilization began trading and developing wealth, certain members of that civilization would accept goods or money in exchange for sex. Why is there a concept of prostitution? Prostitution is a functional for several parties in society. It provides prostitutes a source of income, and it provides a sexual alternative for men who lacks a sexual partner or are dis dissatisfied with the current sexual partner. What are the reasons for existence of prostitutions? Working for money. Despite the sexual drive, the main reason for prostitutions in all groups is money. The money is cited by 85% of prostitutes. Some have to pay for housing, food, and daycare for their children. Others must pay for their drug abuse, while others want an extra week's holiday abroad. How is the concept of prostitutions defined? Prostitution involves engaging, agreeing, or offering to engage in sexual conduct with other person in return to, for a fee. Types of Prostitution First, street clients solicited on the street, park, or other public places. Service inside streets, vehicles, or short-stay premises. Second, brothel. Premises explicitly dedicated to providing sex, better security than street, often licensed by authorities. Third, escort clients contact sex worker by phone or via hotel staff. Most convert form of sex work, relatively expensive because of low client turnover. Service provided at client's home or hotel room. Fourth, Private clients contact sex by contact sex worker by phone. Similar to escort, except services provided in sex workers' premises, prostitution high cost services in rented serviced 
inner city units. Fifth, club, pub, bar, karaoke bar, dance hall clients solicited in alcohol vending venues and serviced on site or elsewhere. Next, we have cost of prostitution. So we have three factors here which can lead a person to engage in prostitution. So first, poverty. So poverty is one of the causes of prostitution because when people are living in poverty, they may not have access to basic necessities like food, shelter, and health care. This lack of access to resources can lead individuals, particularly women and children, to turn to prostitution as a means of survival. In many cases, people who engage in prostitution may not have access to other forms of employment due to limited education or job opportunities. Additionally, individuals living in poverty may not have a support network or social safety net to fall back on, making it difficult for them to escape or avoid prostitution. Second is unemployment. Unemployment can be a cause of prostitution for several reasons. Firstly, individuals who are unemployed may struggle to make ends meet and may turn to prostitution as a means of earning income. This is particularly true for individuals who have limited education or job skills, as they may have fewer options for legitimate employment. Additionally, unemployment can lead to social isolation and a sense of desperation which can make individuals more vulnerable to exploitation and coercion by pimps or traffickers. Without the financial stability and social support that comes with steady employment, individuals may feel that prostitution is their only option for survival. So lastly, we have poor socioeconomic prospects. So poor socioeconomic prospects can also be a cause of prostitution for several reasons. When people lack opportunities to improve their economic situation, they may turn to prostitution as a way to make money. This is particularly true for women and children who may face discrimination in the job market or have limited educational opportunities. In some cases, people who engage in prostitution may come from disadvantaged backgrounds or have experienced trauma such as sexual abuse or exploitation. These factors can contribute to poor mental health and low self-esteem, which can make it difficult for individuals to find and maintain employment. Prostitution is illegal here in the Philippines, but it is somewhat tolerated. Why? simply because of the tremendous amount of money that it generates here. According to the International Labor Union, prostitution accounts for 2 to 14 percent of the gross domestic product in the Philippines. And when you look at it upwards of 800,000 men, women, and children are engaged in the sex trade here some as willing sex workers, others a victim of human trafficking. There are two distinct entities involved in this. First, willing. They willingly engage in sex for money, according to the human rights group. Poverty is the leading cause why people turn to prostitution. And also, it is an easy job to get. There is no education required, there is no experience, there is no references, and a lot of people do that to take care of their families to escape absolute poverty. Second is the human trafficking. Whether it is because of poverty and abuse or by choice, they use prostitution as a means of income. Human trafficking victims are on the end of the spectrum. People forced into the sex industry against their will through force, fraud, and coercion. We now came to a questioning on how prostitution existed and why is it legal on other countries. In a survey of prostitution, the majority of prostitutes say their own sexuality, sexual curiosity, and money are the main reasons they chose their line of work. 
half of the prostitutes in a survey say they become prostitutes because of sexual curiosity and 68% consider their line of work as part of their sexuality. Opponents of legalizing prostitution believe it would reduce crime, improve public health, increase tax revenue, help people out of poverty, get prostitutes off the streets, and allow consenting adults to make their own choices. They contended that prostitution is a victimless crime, especially in the Tent Nevada countries where it remains legal. With these facts, we can't deny that prostitution have more significance and contribution to the society. Hence, it is legalized on certain territories. Legalizing and regulating prostitution was supposed to make the trade safer for sex workers, helping them access critical health and government services. But by most accounts, it mostly resulted in turning prostitution a major industry with hotel-sized bottles, brothel chains, and a ca cash cow of tax revenue. Here on the Philippines, on the other hand, because of strong beliefs on religious values, it is illegal, although somewhat tolerated due to the influence of Western culture with law enforcement being rare with regards to sex workers. Penalties range up to life imprisonment for those involved in trafficking, which is covered by the Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003, but loopholes keep this law invalidated better address prostitution, here are some concrete solutions to solve the issue. Responsibilities of schools and other educational establishments in for propagation and education of prostitution to prevention and combat. Give education on prostitution, prevention and combat, where contents must be suitable to each type of school, educational level, age and gender of pupils students, learners, as well as customs and practices of different ethnicities. We also have a responsibility in prevention and combat of prostitution. Families shall have to educate their members of unhealthy lifestyle, promote fine traditions, and build cultured families, coordinate with agencies, organizations, and local people's committees in educating and managing family members who commit acts of violating legislation on prostitution, prevention, and combat, to create conditions for them to integrate into the community. There are also socio-economic measures in prostitution prevention and to combat, training and creating jobs for income generation, poverty alleviation, and hunger reduction are impo important socio-economic measures aiming to prevent prostitution from emerging and developing. Second is organizing medical treatment, education, job training, and creation to help prostitutes integrate into the community.